App Intense is slowly becoming my favorite Swift framework because it's so powerful and versatile. Today, let's explore how we can expose our intents to the Shortcuts app and Spotlight Search. Consider this app intent that I have in my own indie app. It allows the user to toggle if they're currently fasting or eating and I'm using it for an interactive widget. This intent is super simple and doesn't actually have any parameters associated with it. If you're interested in parameters and how to supply your users with a list of options for them, watch this video. This intent accesses both user defaults and Swift data to manage the state of the app and save all of the fasting data. The exact implementation doesn't really matter though. I just wanted to get you up to date with what's happening in here. By default, all app intents are available in the Shortcuts app. But I also want users to see this intent in Spotlight Search and they should also be able to invoke it with Siri. So let's create an app shortcuts provider to make that happen. This protocol only has one requirement, the computed shortcuts variable. In there, you define all of the app intents that you want to expose to the system. In this example, I just have the toggle fast intent in here with a super simple prompt and a nice little SF symbol as an icon. That icon will be shown in Spotlight Search. You can add multiple intents here and customize them even more. Have a look at the app shortcut documentation to learn more about that. Here's an important note though. You can add parameters to these prompts like some sort of user input but only parameters of app entities with a default query are allowed for Siri and Spotlight support. That means that you can't ask for any string, for example. Those intents are limited to the Shortcuts app and widgets, for example. And after adding the app shortcuts provider struct and implementing the app shortcut, you can now see that the shortcut or the intent gets properly indexed by Spotlight Search by the Shortcuts app and we'll also be able to use it with Siri. Learn even more about App Intense by watching this video next.